Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful Friday here in Vienna. Yeah, it is. And we're hungry. We woke up with an appetite. So mm -hmm. we're going to go in search of a typical Austrian and Viennese breakfast. Oh, yes. So. And there's a place we have yeah. in mind just around the corner. So let's <laughs> it's head great. There. Sam's just getting his camera ready, gonna do some filming today. Out. Yeah, we're also, aside from just having breakfast, it's also gonna be a busy day for us filming, trying to complete the city guide to Vienna here today as well. Yeah, and we have to say we've loved the city. It's yeah. so beautiful, but the prices are kind of scary, wouldn't you say? It's not the cheapest city, that's it's for sure. Not. But I mean, they're, they're, it's very nice to, to visit, but yeah. not as friendly on the wallet as some of the other places we've been to recently. We've also noticed there's a big cafe culture here in Vienna, so you always see, you know, the patios, cafes, restaurant, they're full no matter what day of week it is, what time it is, people are out brunching and eating. So yeah, that's one thing I really do like about the city because I like my food. This is our beautiful street. Just look at that architecture up ahead. The streets in Vienna are stunning. Okay, so here we are. We made it to the restaurant we had in mind. It's called Beer. Not entirely sure what that means, but they do have a cool menu with, with an alien, alien cats. cat. It's like those bald cats. I don't even know what they're called, but yeah, they're on the cover. Yeah, we should the know the name of this cat. We're gonna look this up later <laughs> on. But if you know, please tell us. Yeah, but we came here a few days ago and we actually had more of a Middle Eastern breakfast. Like Sam had this giant, hummus platter oh, with so falafel good. and I had shakshuka and it was really good yeah but we also noticed on the menu that they specialize in a Viennese breakfast and they also have a farmer's breakfast yes so that's what we've ordered and yeah it should be coming soon actually our drinks are here trying to stay warm out here on the patio. It's late September, but I mean, it's surprisingly chilly early to, to day. Today is a lot chillier than yeah, it has been on other days. Windy. Maybe we should have sat inside, but we figured, <laughs> let's enjoy the sunshine. So yeah, I got myself a cafe latte. Nice and milky and frothy. Yeah. And we've been noticing they sure do good coffees in this city. Oh, they oh, do. My. They do. Yeah. And Sam got a little cappuccino and a cute little blue coffee. I did, just over here. I'll be trying that after. That's good, but I can't wait for the food to arrive. I'm so hungry. It's past 10 in the morning already, so we're a little bit late for breakfast today, but yeah. All right, sir. Time to try the cappuccino. Cappuccino. The cappuccino. pretty darn good yeah yeah and the cool thing is that in this neighborhood that we've been staying in we've tried a couple really other good restaurants too yeah. we went to Ulrich right yeah that was a good one which is really good I ordered the or we got the mushroom risotto actually I ordered the mushroom oh, right. risotto and Sam was like oh have the same please <laughs> so we only tried I copied one dish, you but it was so good no, but we also had we got a, a side dish oh, of like dish. Polenta, polenta and, and chorizo. chorizo yeah and then we went to another restaurant that Anthony Bourdain went to like many years ago what was yeah, that one uh, called Rachko. Rachko, yeah we had uh, steak with um a like peppercorn sauce. peppercorn sauce yeah it was so good and that was our, f our friend cash recommended that so yeah. we went and tried that so lots of great places to eat just in and around the neighborhood we're staying in yeah and this place we're at right now this one we found on our own this is our own yeah. discovery yes <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so our viennese breakfast has arrived this is the vino Frühstück. And it comes with Samuel, which I already dug into. It's yeah, it's for a Spanish-speaking clip we did. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so warm and fresh out of the oven. This is a nice bread. It also came with croissant. We have some ham, some cheese, a hard-boiled egg, butter, jam. And yeah. I can already tell you, I am a big fan of and this bread this is, roll. This is a typical Viennese breakfast, yes, isn't it? this is the Viennese one. Yeah. We'll showcase the other one in a moment's time. But this bread roll, oh my gosh. I don't know, like we've been in Vienna how many days and we've managed to only discover this bread roll today? How is that uh, possible? It's kind of sad. 
It's so good. It is good. It's all so good. Kind of reminds me a bit of a continental breakfast. Mm. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you for sharing. Ooh, you're right. It's nice and warm. I know. Oh my gosh. I know. Fresh as can be. So I'm gonna have a little bit of ham and cheese on mine. Trying to get it into a sandwich. It's a little, yeah. It's a little mini, mini sandwich, mini bite. Good stuff. That's really nice. I like how you can alternate between having like savory bites with the meat and cheese and then going over mm, to the sweet. There you go. They've thought of everything. The here. best of both worlds, really. <laughs> oh, that makes a lot of noise. And let's not neglect that egg. Let's not neglect the egg. As we all know, Sam has a problem with eggs sometimes. If not you're running. a big fan of boiled Ooh, or runny one, eggs. This one so feels a little soft. All yours. Ooh, it feels soft. Ooh. Oh, it is. Oh man, I'm gonna have to like spread this on bread or something <laughs> before it explodes. It's still a little runny in there, huh? It's gonna burst all over my hands. I get that bread. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I get that bread underneath. I'm gonna steal a slice of bread from the other breakfast we ordered, the the farmer's breakfast. All right. We're gonna show I'll you guys actually, I'll that. Bring that. I'll bring that over to you right now. In a second. Now. One hand on the camera. One hand on the camera. Another hammer to hand. <laughs> another another hammer. Another hand to hand you the uh, the bread. Let's cut into that. Camera. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at it burst all over your hand. Oh man! <laughs> There's no napkins. What are no we gonna do here? No napkins. Just oh yeah, there actually hands. is a napkin. Look at and that! Look at that! I'm gonna get you the napkin right now. Mm, just looking my hands clean. Look at this! Like multi multi talented over here, filming, handing you napkins and pieces of bread, on demand. And how is that? Good. Good. Needs a little bit of salt and pepper, but I can work with this. Okay, okay. So now let's dig into the farmer's breakfast. Yeah, this this poor little plate has been neglected. We've been chowing down on the other one so much. So we'll give you a little tour. So we've got the nice bread over here. Yeah, and it came with two slices. Yes, two very thick slices of cheese. Uh, looks like aged cheese, and then we have um, the egg, which I'll be giving to you. <laughs> this is, I think, kind of like a carrot um, cream cheese type of mixture. It's a spread to put on the bread, obviously. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the gherkin, the pickle. Okay. And then we have something. We have looks some like prosciutto. Like it does look like prosciutto. Meat? It looks like really good quality meat. And some tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do is make a little mini sandwich here, a little bite. Taking off a bit of bread. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Spread a little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A wee bit of cheese. A wee bit of cheese. A wee bit of cheese. A little rip-off slice of uh, pickle and some meat. So I've got a little bit of everything going on aside from the egg, which is all yours. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, it's absolutely nice. The bread is delicious. It's like, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And then that nice thick slice of cheese and then a little juiciness from the pickle. It mm. makes a really nice yummy bite. All right, and now if you have to choose between the Viennese and the Austrian farmer's breakfast, which mm. would you go for? Well, you know what? I'm more in the mood for savory, so I think I'm going to enjoy the, the farmer's one a little bit more today. All right, that works for me because I like the Viennese better. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Normally we like the same one, All so right, let's this, this works down. out great today. And price point for that meal. And to wrap things up, yeah, that came to just over 23 euros. So yep, 23 that included 50. the two drinks and the two mates. So yeah, it was a really good breakfast. We'd recommend going there and yeah, we're very satisfied, very full, but also ready to start the day. We are gonna go explore more of Vienna right now. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.